hello. Now we're going to put it all together. So from our previewer, we will actually be able to send out a mail that will have this uh, PDF, uh, sorry, that can open this PDF with Form Butler, and people can fill it out, and data will flow back into Salesforce. Okay, how we go? Let's start with creating in PDF Butler a pack. So we're going to create a new PDF Butler pack, and I'm going to call it Form Butler, and it's going to be called, and it's going to be sent. Uh, sense form the leading doc config is my uh, form butter document so that's fine and now i'm gonna save it and i'm gonna create a new actionable on that pack means that when the document is generated when we execute this pack the actionable will be executed and this will take certain steps the actionable is of type as you see uh, the record type form butler okay now i'm gonna go for my actionable so let's give it a name. The name is going to be, for instance, uh, Form Butler Academy. Now uh, it needs a class, like as always. Um, I will put this class in our uh, Academy and also on our YouTube. So you can just copy paste it from there. But this is the class. It's, of course, an after uh, generation um, and class. So make sure it's active. It will run after the uh, the, do uh, the document has been uh, generated. Now we need the email, the email doc config that we're going to send out. Uh, that's what we have created in our earlier sessions. So that's form butter email. Uh, I'm going to send it out via my name, so no need to input in an, uh, an org file email address. The email target that's going to be our uh, our contact person. Huh? So we have on our um, on our opportunity, we have one signer, so I'm going to use this signer, Jack Rogers, and I made a data source for that. If you want to know how that data source was created, just go to our academy and look into our email doc config um, actionable. It's actually exactly the same setup. So uh, I'm going to send it to Jack, so he's our uh, signer contact, and that's the data source to select him. Then a very important step. Uh, we're going to set up some form butler uh, configuration now. And what do we need to set is, do we want to use the attached PDF or regenerate the PDF every time they open up the, um, yeah, the request? So this means that we generate the document one time, the PDF to uh, the form PDF, and all of the information that's available at that moment will actually be uh, in the PDF. Um, every time people open the PDF, it will be the same one. So if new generation and uh, if new uh, information is added into Salesforce, it will not be picked up. Regenerate would solve that means that every time they open up the document so that they can uh, start filling, it will actually regenerate that document from scratch. Means that if data is updated in Salesforce, then of course they will see that new data immediately in their form already filled. For this one, I'm going to just going to use uh, use attached, so it's going to be generated only once. Uh, yes, I want people to uh, to enable download. Means that after they have filled in the documents, they can just download it, so they have an, a reference for their own. Uh, our form doc config that I have to set, so that's my form butler document here. The field API name also very important. So remember that we have created a lookup on the form butler request object towards our opportunity. So this is the API name for that uh, for that lookup. We called it, uh, I guess, opportunity. So this is the form butter request object. And this is the lookup that we have created. And that is, I'm just going to copy this and put it in here. Always copy paste. Do not make mistakes in a type, uh, typos. It's really case sensitive. So make sure to copy paste. A translation data source I'm going to skip for now. Uh, we're going to do that in a later session, but this means that you can actually have uh, translations of all of the texts that are on the form Butler page. Means that when people start filling in, if they see a submit button, they, they will actually see uh, a translation of that submit button in French, in German, uh, when that is required. 
uh, approval data before saving. That actually means that before we store the data, uh, an internal person can actually look at the data first, approve it, and then it's, go it's going to be stored. So this just to make sure that when people fill in the form, they don't overwrite uh, data in Salesforce. You don't want to overwrite. Um, extra document upload. Yeah, I'm going to enable that. For instance, if you have a picture to upload or an extra document, then you can enable this one. And this will actually have extra uploads in the uh, form. We'll see that later on. Notification emails, okay, that's always interesting when, uh, for instance, something goes wrong. Um, that can always happen. Eh? Uh, we had a case where a customer created a validation rule and that validation rule was not informed Butler. So, uh, yeah, when updating the documents, that, uh, yeah, when inserting the data, I mean, updating the data, that of course failed. And uh, by uh, entering here a notification email, you can just uh, get the PDF that was created and the data that was inserted. So you can review that and see what happened, what went wrong, and how can I make sure my data, my entry is not lost. Then we have a bunch of branding uh, settings, which are always uh, nice to have. So uh, yeah, you can of course make sure your own logo is on the Form Butler page instead of the uh, Form Butler logo. So uh, yeah, you can just uh, put in your own logo. If you say I want to make uh, some changes in the colors of the top bar and of the uh, the buttons that are on the screen, all of that items can be set and possibly more in the future. But uh, this is it for now. So this is actually controlling almost every button and every bar and logo that's shown on the page. This is uh, our uh, actionable, so completely filled now. We have our pack, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the ID of the pack. I'm going to go to my opportunity page, edit, and we're going to make sure that from the preview, we're actually able to run this pack. Uh, if you do not want the preview, uh, then you just have to select the, uh, um, the pdfbutter.configs uh, component, then, that's, then you can skip the preview and immediately run the pack without uh, uh, having to see the preview. But I just think it's very nice that we can see the preview first. Um, okay, so I'm going to save this one. Now I'm going to go back. And this should be it. Now, everything is set. Uh, we have uh, Jack Rogers. Jack Rogers will uh, send an email. Uh, I normally will receive that email right here. So uh, once that email is set, we have a URL in that email and uh, we can start filling in that data. So let's see if that all works. Okay, I have my document already, so that's good. I have my button to send it. So I click the button. It will now take this document, and generate the sign butter, uh, sorry, form butter request, and have uh, and it's exact, uh, successfully been sent out. As you can see, I already received the email. So the email says, "Hey Jack, please fill out the uh, the document." Oh yeah, I see already. I have the full link here, but uh, we can change it as well if you use the link config type. You can make sure that uh, you nicely have the link um, set up in the uh, yeah set up here instead of this long uh, this long link. Okay, let's click it, and it will open up our form butter page as you can see. And well, I've set the gray color as a background, so I have the logo here that I have set. I have all of my fields. I have my submit button. I can add extra attachments if I want. So let's now uh, make some changes. Gonna update this to Make Steps um, Academy. Now the close date, I'm gonna maybe shift a little bit because uh, December 2020 is already passed. So let's move that to um, 2021 and let's go for April, uh, the 1st of April of 2021. The order number, I'm gonna do one, two, three, four. Instead of other, the lead source is web. So I've updated now. Look how this uh, nicely. Yeah, this is a pick list, so it can only select one uh, one item. So every time you change it, only one will be checked. The number of locations. Well, as I indicated, this is a number, so I cannot fill in any other uh, things than a number. And I'm going to put it to five. And then for the related list updates, 
uh, we have these checkboxes for the discount. Well, let's say that uh, only on the uh, the diesel gen, uh, the diesel 10 kilowatts item, I want to have a discount. So I'm going to check this one. All the data should be uh, updated now. So if I click submit, we will take this data, store it immediately in Salesforce. Uh, you can, uh, as indicated in the actionable, you can download the uh, the form from here. So you can review your uh, your uh, inputted data if you want. And now let's go and take a look at our opportunity. On the opportunity, we see that the uh, Next Steps Academy has already been updated. So that's uh, perfect. That seems to work fine. The lead source changed from uh, other to web. So that was also correctly updated. So uh, the order number changed from ABC123 to ABC1234. So these three items have been already correctly updated. Oh yeah, let's not forget the close date. Also the close date has been updated to the 1st of uh, April. Now we have done some updates as well on the account. Let's open that account in a different tab. And I would expect that the uh, number of locations have, has been set to five. Yes, also updated, very nice. And now uh, on the uh, diesel 10 kilowatts, I would expect the discount checkbox to be checked. Yeah, and we have that. And on the other one, the 1000 kilowatts, I, it's not checked. Yeah, so exactly what the, uh, the stuff that I have updated via my form is now in Salesforce. And we have our form butler request that we can take a look at here. We see the status is finished. so. We know that it's now completely done uh, and all of the information is right here. So uh, yeah, we know this now is being filled and uh, yeah, all of the data has been stored in Salesforce. So our form builder, uh, our form butler completed successfully 